What if everything you've been told about type 2 diabetes was only half the truth? That it's not actually a lifelong sentence, but a condition that can be reversed naturally, without surgery, and in many cases, without medication. What if I told you that even as a doctor, I didn't fully understand this truth until I was halfway through writing my own book? Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, a board certified family and obesity medicine doctor. And in this video, we're going to explore the science behind reversing type 2 diabetes naturally. I'll walk you through how it works, what the research shows, and how you can start healing your body today. And stick around because I'll be sharing a surprising story from my journey. When I wrote my book, Fix Your Diet, Fix Your Diabetes, I was still in a plant-based mindset. You can see it right on the cover. Grains, front and center. Oh, the irony, especially coming from someone who's now a carnivore. But here's the twist. Thankfully, I hadn't yet written the nutrition section of the book before I discovered the science that would change everything. Let's start with the big myth. You've probably heard this one before. Type two diabetes is chronic. It only gets worse. You'll need more meds, eventually insulin. Eventually you'll get complications. That's just how it is. Wrong, that's not how it is. That's just how it's been treated. The truth is type two diabetes is not a blood sugar problem. It's an insulin problem. More specifically, it's a problem of insulin resistance. With type two diabetes, your body is still making insulin, sometimes too much of it, but your cells aren't responding properly. It's like insulin is ringing the doorbell and the house isn't answering. And what causes insulin resistance? Chronically high insulin levels. And what causes high insulin levels? A diet overloaded with carbohydrates. Every time you eat carbs, things like bread, pasta, rice, cereal, granola bars, even so-called healthy whole grains, your blood sugar rises. Insulin comes out to clean up the sugar. But if you do that three times a day, every day, for decades, your cells stop responding to the insulin. That's how resistance builds. But here's the fix. You remove the carbs. You remove the fuel that's driving the fire. You let insulin levels drop the resistance fades. Your cells begin to listen again. This is why low carb diets work. It's not magic, it's just biology. In clinical trials, people who followed a low carb or a ketogenic diet saw dramatic improvements in blood sugar control. Some came off insulin, others reversed their diagnosis entirely. This isn't fringe science. It's peer reviewed published data. It's what I see in my clinic every single day. Now let's bring this back to my book. I started writing Fix Your Diet, Fix Your Diabetes with the intention of sharing everything I knew about healing through food. At the time, I was a vegetarian. I believed that grains were part of the solution, but halfway through the writing process, something didn't sit right. I started digging deeper into metabolic science, and that's when I discovered the low carb approach. Suddenly, things clicked. I saw my patients improve faster. I saw insulin needs go down. I saw labs normalize, and I hadn't even finished the nutrition section of the book yet. That's why, despite what the cover shows, the the book itself aligns with low carb principles and it provides tremendous value for those who need it. But yes, I'll be changing the cover soon because what you see on the outside should reflect the truth inside. Today, I embrace low carb, keto, and carnivore in my clinical practice. Not because they're trendy, but because they work. They get to the root of the issue, insulin resistance, and they give people their lives back. Now I know some of you are wondering about tools that can support this process. So let's talk briefly about supplements. And let me be crystal clear. Supplements are not the solution. You cannot out supplement a bad diet. But when your foundation is strong, when you're eating real food, especially animal based, low carb, nutrient dense foods, then some supplements can enhance the process if you choose to use them. Here's a concise breakdown of the top ones I recommend in my practice. Berberine, about 500 milligrams two to three times daily, acts like natural metformin. It activates AMPK and reduces glucose production in the liver. Alpha lipoic acid, 300 to 600 milligrams per day, is an antioxidant that improves insulin sensitivity and helps protect nerves. Magnesium, 200 to 400 
100 milligrams per day is critical. Most people with diabetes are deficient. It helps with insulin signaling and lowers inflammation. Crolium picolinate, 200 to 600 micrograms per day, enhances insulin activity inside your cell. Vitamin D3, around 500 international units daily, with vitamin K2, 100 micrograms daily. They work together to improve insulin sensitivity and support calcium regulation. Omega-3s, specifically EPA and DHA, at one to two grams per day, help reduce inflammation and protect the heart. NAC or N-acetylcysteine at 600 to 1200 milligrams support glutathione production and liver detox. Myo-inositol, two to four grams per day, improves insulin signaling, especially in women with metabolic issues. Taurine, 500 to 1000 milligrams daily. It's emerging as a powerful tool for improving glucose metabolism and heart health. And finally, cinnamon extract, 500 to 1000 micrograms daily may modestly lower blood sugar and improve insulin sensitivity. Most of these work through one of three mechanisms, reducing liver glucose production, lowering reducing inflammation, or improving insulin signaling. But again, they are support tools. The star of the show is always your diet. And to be honest, most of my patients find success without using any supplements by simply focus on one of the low carb diets. So why don't most doctors talk about low carb diets? Why are some of you just hearing that diabetes might be reversible? Because most clinicians were trained in an era where fat was demonized and carbs were promoted. They were taught how to manage disease, not how to reverse it. And frankly, using the word reversal still makes people uncomfortable. But I've seen too much to stay silent. When a patient changes their diet, loses weight, normalizes their labs, and no longer needs medication. What do you call that? That's reversal or remission if you prefer. I'm fine with either. What I'm not fine with is giving people false limits. And if you've been told that type two diabetes is a life sentence, I want you to know that's not true. You can change your future and you don't need to do it with gimmicks or starvation or shame. You do it by giving your your body the food it was designed to thrive on. So here's your next step. Cut out those excessive carbs in your diet and replace them with eggs, beef, butter, and real whole foods. Go for a walk after meals. Prioritize sleep. Stay hydrated. And if it feels right, add a supplement or two that supports your unique needs. And lastly, check out my two-page handout which tells you which foods to eat and which foods to avoid on a low carb diet. I'll be sure to have a link in the video comments and notes. And if this video helped you, help someone else. Hit that like button and subscribe and share it with someone who needs hope. And click on the playlist in the video description below. That's where you'll find more videos that break down how to achieve true metabolic health and how to get your life back. And just so we're clear, this video is for educational purposes only. Always talk to your healthcare provider before making major changes. But don't be afraid to take the first step. Don't be afraid to ask better questions. Don't be afraid to believe that healing is possible because when you fix your diet, you just might fix your diabetes. I'll see you in the next video.